Hey everybody, G4Video5 here, and welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the definitive edition. In this part, we will be completing the mission Body Harvest for the truth. Hello? Hello, somebody in there? In here. <sighs> Check this shit out. What do we have here? Yo, Carl. What up, kid? Hey, what's happening? Oh, uh, is this undercover training? Oh, no, you must be off duty. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hush up, man. Mr. Truth here is going to be supplying you with some of the finest... <laughs> we and you are going to deliver it for us. Hey, man, you losing it. You hallucinating this shit. What? Oh. Yo, True, come here, man. Welcome, friend. Sup? Carl here is gonna be paying you your money. <sighs> what you talking about? Now, Carl, I got a real do-gooder fucking with me, and I want you to take this evil green poison and drop it on him. <laughs> It's gonna ruin that asshole's career. Ah, oh, bullshit. Dudes, you want mushrooms? You lose? <coughs> How about some DMT? No, not for me, man. I got a jet. Whew, shit. I'm fucked up. Yo, Carl, pay the man. Whoa, man. I never thought I'd see that. A fed out smoking me, huh? What are you, dude? FBI? DEA? Nah, I'm more like a private investigator. Friend, you give off a positive energy. How about some Vietnamese opium? Nah, I don't get down with that. But how do I know I can trust you then? What, I'm working for you now? I'm a man of peace. But some squares across that ridge are not respecting my peace. I mean survivalist maniacs, right-wingers, fascists. They have a harvester, and I need one. Get it, then you can pay me. Namaste, Carl. The fuck that mean? Later, freak. Ah, that cutscene is classic, and shoutouts to this motorbike appearing out of thin air, which is uh, quite convenient because the motorbike is arguably the best method of transportation in this game, even when you're given a crappier motorbike like this one as obviously you'd want a sports bike to really get from one place to another incredibly fast, but uh, this will do quite fine because of the exploit we can do that involves repeatedly tapping forward with the left stick while CJ is operating a vehicle like this, as it causes him to start humping the vehicle, and he starts speeding off like crazy. And I said speeding right there, you sick freaks. But anyway, that cutscene back there is fantastic stuff, as you have Tenpenny making another appearance, which is always appreciated, because I like Tenpenny quite a bit. Even though he is the antagonist here, he still provides some entertaining moments nonetheless, and Samuel L. Jackson does a fantastic job of voicing him. But you also have the introduction of The Truth, who uh, is entertaining in his own right because of his personality that contrasts quite nicely with CJ's. So I always look forward to when the truth appears in the game, as there's quite a few memorable moments to be had with him. But anyway, here we are at the farm attempting to steal the Combine Harvester. You come to the wrong farm, boy! Beat him down! It's all he's good for! Hey, who is this guy? Don't know, but it looks kind of shifted. Roll him in some pig shit! He's a combine rustler! That song bitch oh. is fancy! Ooh, these country folk are definitely not bussin'. For real, for real, no cap. And they are no match for us, as we now have the combine harvester. But I've gotta say, these folks bring something out of me. Now remember what my daddy said. Don't you tell nobody about me coming in here at night. Stop that dang varmint! So I have to say, I'm getting some flashbacks here. And not from the weird racist stuff that these farm folks are saying, but more so because of the uh, Combine Harvester's just terrible controls. 
I mean, these are probably the worst controls in the game out of any vehicle, which is a pretty large statement to be making. Well, you know, average sized. And, uh, you know, the reason why I'm saying it, though, is because when I was growing up playing this game for the first time when it came out, I remember failing this mission uh, maybe more than any other mission, uh, especially at this point right here, because I would be constantly flipping over the Combine Harvester, and so what I'd do is I'd look up text guides on game FAQs, trying to figure out how the hell am I supposed to control this crazy thing. Man, you've brought peace back to my valley. Thank you, friend. I'll call you when the hoop to do is ready. Just make sure you get that cash. Ooh, he sounds so sinister. Yeah, but uh, phone call time. Hey! Carl, it's Caesar. What's up? Bad thinking shit, that's what's up, Holmes. What's wrong? Where's Kendall? Is she okay? She's with me, she's okay for now. The Varios Los Aztecas, it's all over. There's a price on my head. Maybe Kendall's too. What happened? Trust, respect, honor, they don't mean Jack and Los Santos now. My OGs, my S's, all dead or in hiding, eh? Get out of town. Head over to Angel Pine, rent you and Kendall a trailer, and I'll meet you there. Okay. I just got some shit to take care of, and, uh... No, just get my sister out of town someplace safe. Don't shit with me on this one. I can't lose her, man. Sure thing, Holmes. We'll see you in Angel Pine. You know, I like how we get respect for completing this mission, and a nice BF injection, so all around some pretty cool stuff. But uh, with that phone call wrapping up, we now have a very short mission to complete, which is just a cutscene called King in Exile that we will cut ahead to. Hey, Carl. How you doing, sis? This ain't over, man. I did this to take care of my woman. But now I'm gonna head straight back home and I'm gonna cap me some fucking dope dealers. Hey, look, you going to the barrio with that big willy bullshit and you gonna get shredded. And I ain't losing you over no macho bullshit. <sighs> hey, relax, man. It's gonna get handled when it's time. We already know who the fucking bad guys are, man. Your stinking grocery for the smoke and those Jota pigs, Ted Benny and, and Pulaski. Smoke, he's a pusher, man. No, no, not Smoke. He might mess with Crash, but he don't mess with no yay. Come on, CJ, how you think he got that new house, huh? Just let that grow for life bullshit go and take a look around you. Word on the street is twice a week. Smoke sends a car out to San Fiat and the trunk comes back full of white. Shit! I gotta keep my eye on the highway to San Fierro. Maybe I'll see something. Just, just lay low and I'll be back. Hello? Where'd you be in our call? Why don't you call, eh? Well, I was just about to call you, but... Liar! You'll be hanging out with those sticky putas! No, no. If you just let me... Just silence! Get up here! We've got places to rob! Look, I'm in the middle of some shit, right? So with that, that now wraps up this part, and in the next part we'll be doing the next mission for Catalina, which is called First Base. So until then, I will see you next time. <laughs>